What up guys, welcome to the CCC. I'm Toph. I'm Maguido. And I'm Shane. Today we're doing a little glass review here. Pretty heady as fuck glass review. Mm -hmm. We got the uh, Phil Siegel Black Widow Spider Rig. Yeah. Yeah, the table here and it's it's pretty uh, realistic. Yeah, it's, pretty, you know? uh, it's the first of Phil's uh, Deadly Animal series. He's gonna do kind of a series uh, making all deadly animals and this is the first one. And it, uh, for being a first part of the series, is an amazing example and of what's to come. And I mean, the sculpture work on this is really reminiscent of like Buck or like Christian Hodges or another, you know, really, really high-end high -end experienced artist and to see him come out of the gate with this as his first sculptured um, piece, you know, it's just, it's crazy. Yeah, he killed it with this for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how many hours went into the making of this piece. Um, it was I, a week, I, it took him a week. Yeah, but, a week. I don't know how many hours specifically, but I mean a week worth, worth of work every day, so. Yeah, not only that, but I know Phil, I know his work ethic, I know his procedure, and he studied the the anatomy of the, the Black Widow for who knows how long before he actually yeah, put you it can together. See, yeah, there's a bunch of pictures yeah. up next to his station with all the anatomy of the mm -hmm. spider and everything you can see. He definitely did his homework and it shows in the oh, yeah. piece. Before this thing was done, I walked in the shops to hang out, take dabs, blow some glass, and I saw a bunch of uniformed black pieces sitting on Phil Station, and I just said, what? Like, what? I know something is happening, what is that? And he just pointed at a picture of a spider, and I didn't even say anything more. Like, I knew at some point I would see it, and uh, about five days later, this little thing came out of the kiln. Yeah, the show, I think, was the first part that I saw. And I even I didn't know what it was gonna be. Yeah. Seeing it like this, finished product, it's uh it's pretty crazy. This is the first hit ever taken out of this rig. It's it's never been hit, so Holy! It hits a lot like uh, my pendant rig. Yeah. It's got the same, same one. Yeah, it's got the same kind of diffuser, a single I think he calls it a snake viper, just mm -hmm. like a little disc with two two holes, two holes that are kind of um <coughs> raised so that they shoot out to the side a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's really cool too is that if you guys notice the, the body on the on the spider itself actually has that hourglass shape and it's all red. Yeah. So when you put the dome on for the body it actually looks like the red hourglass that's on a real black widow spider. It's, it's nutty. My, one of, some of my favorite features of this piece are the three wags. Mm -hmm. uh, the one on the belly here, uh, it goes from red and then fades to black fades to on black, the black yeah. body. And then the one down here that's black and then fades to red. On and the then body. Yeah, there's the one body, on the, uh, on the dome, dome that goes from red and fades to black up to the netting. Which, will, and, uh, which actually then connects to the stem right here and makes it all seamlessly red. Those three wags, um, <laughs> as I was looking at this for the first time, talking with Phil, you know, I mean, as a glass blower, you show your friend something, you know, you want to see their input. I'm looking at this staring, and once I noticed those three wags, I had to give major props. I just thought the way they were placed there, they're just so clean and the thought out fade. On all <laughs> yeah, and they're like so subtle that like you almost don't even it. notice them at first. I so. was just going to say the main thing about, uh, about, the style that he chose, you know, to do him with this piece, it's subtle but detailed. Oh, I can't have a hat on with it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can't hit this rig with a hat. And you gotta kiss the spider when you hit it. That it's kind of intimidating. <laughs> yeah, the fangs on the spider actually come up to your nose. They like touch your oh, nose. Oh yeah, they definitely stick right underneath your nose. I remember that was the first thing he told me. He had some water in it and he was like, here, take a, take a dry it. And I remember it, I, it hit my hat and I was like, whoa. <coughs> but those snake bites <coughs> right on the underneath the nose there, pretty scary. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that thing is uh, it's pretty dope. How did it rip the first time around? What did you guys think? It hits great. Like I said, it hits just like my pendant rig, which like you can rip it as hard as you hard as you want, and you get no water. splash. And it's got just the perfect amount of diffusion. I mean, two little holes to the side. You know, the exact amount of diffusion you want with an oil rig. Um, um, yeah. And I mean, it just works really well. The fact that the water doesn't uh, spill when you have the right amount of water in it, it doesn't spill either when you're holding it straight or it's laying on the table. Um, I know why it hits so good. I'm going to say it right now. Phil takes dabs. <laughs> and uh, Phil likes to take dabs that taste good and uh, hit good. So it shows through his work. Yeah, sure. I mean, he was a collector before he was a glass blower, And um, so he, he likes everything to hit good and hit uniform. And that's always a, a big part of his pieces. That's the way they hit. How's that, man? 
That just felt so different from any piece I've ever ripped. Put to your lips. It's, yeah. I mean, with those fucking fangs right there, just like on your upper lip. <coughs> yeah. Um, and the dome on this thing is one of the most intricate domes I've ever seen. It's just got like so much lattice work on this thing, it's nutty. It come, the way it cradles down across the whole body of the piece, it just fits seamlessly. Perfect. Yeah. There's like a real small window that it fits in. Exactly. In fact, exactly. there's a little ridge yeah. that just so the body fits through. And I mean, in that, in that instance though, you gotta be careful with it. <coughs> I mean, you can tell it's an intricate piece. Um, but as long as you're careful with it, like you can see we are, we all three of us just took a dab with it, no clinking glass or anything, you know, so. Um, it's it's just a well thought out, well executed piece, and it's, I, I love it. It's very this, beautiful, very functional. It's one of those pieces, uh, you know, maybe uh, you got your own place, parents don't know how much you smoke, they're coming to visit, you might put some of the rigs away. You'd probably leave this one up, yeah. up on the shelf as like a, you know, a display piece or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really tell that it's a rig if that's not what you're looking for. You know, it you totally just, it just looks, looks like a sculpture, I mean, a beautiful yeah. piece of art. I mean, we were out filming uh, by the lake, Lake Merritt, and everybody walking by thought we were filming like an animation of a spider, um, taking a bunch of different frames of a spider moving. They didn't know we were filming a, a dad rig. <laughs> this thing's sick. You just want to dab out of it again, like right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should have a bigger nail in here. We've done it in the V3. Kind of losing heat as we're moving around, but uh, it's still working good enough. Oh, we got the do you dab on there. We got the dab flow, a little dab. smaller, more flow. But Phil's domes are big enough that you can put a V3 on there. And be good. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I keep puddling up this nail, but the dabs are still they sure are tasty. Yeah, they are. It's got like a light feathery rip to it. You know what I mean? It's it's not like a real chugger. Um, it doesn't take like really any lung power to get it rolling. Um, and it, it's like no drag, you know? Yeah, and so it, those are the pros as far as how the rip goes. In the rip mind. is, yeah, for an oil rig, I mean, it rips as good as something that isn't uh, a fully worked spider. You know, it rips exactly. as something that's meant to That most companies use as proto, proto rigs, you know, because of their functionality. And this, this rig has that, you know, extremely versatile functionality as well as being a high end art piece, as you can tell. Like you said, sometimes when you have something that looks this good, you do have to sacrifice a little bit uh, of function. A function to get it to look the way you want it to look, to get it to look realistic. <coughs> to get it to be a spider. <laughs> it looks realistic. I don't really, I can't look at it and see one thing that, you know, should be different, you know? I'm no fucking arachnid <coughs> scientist or whatever it is. I'm no spider expert, but that looks like the biggest spider. Ever, you know? Exactly, like just the way the joints and the legs all meet together, how the fangs are located, the eyes on it even. I mean, you guys you guys can see in the close-ups. I mean, it's just it's just crazy. The stance, you know, the angle of all the legs, it's just precision. It's a fatal, fatal thing. That's dope. And in that, in that instance, we can't wait really for what's going to be coming out next. And, as you guys know, Phil Siegel's always killing it on the torch, and this is just another perfect example of that. Yeah, I'm stoked on this thing. This thing is available at this As of moment, this time, yeah, yeah it's I available. Know, it will be when you guys see this. Um, these are the first rips taken off it, and the only rips that will be taken off it um, until the new owner. We need a V3. Yeah, yeah for sure. And it keeps cooling down. <laughs> you can't work fast <laughs> enough with the dab and on there. That's a heady rig, though. Um, thanks again to Phil Siegel for letting us uh, check it out and show it to you guys. Um, yeah, we're well, always good about that. <laughs> yeah, we're stoked on showcasing his work and bringing more heady glass to you as always. I think we've about covered it. Yeah, I, I think so. So if you guys want to are interested in this piece, hit up Phil on the uh, Facebooks and try and. Um, Get yourself a piece of glass history here. It's pretty dope. Yeah. Till next time, I'm Aguido. I'm Toph. I'm Shane. <laughs>